Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Shore with me, Bring It Dawn. So this game has received a series of patches uh, since it was released. I think it's been three, and the most recent one actually broke the game and deleted everyone's saves across the board. I checked the forms and everything, I wasn't the only one who lost their save. So I actually had to replay up to this point, which wasn't too bad, I think I got up to here within an hour because I knew what to expect. But also I was using mouse and keyboard which makes the whole game much easier than using my old busted controller. So. Anyway, uh, let's continue. It's been a it's been a fun morning. I also don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. I heard a noise. I don't know what... Oh, here we go. Is it all their eyes? Oh gosh. So I turned up the sensitivity a little bit, and then I tried turning it back down and it didn't do anything. Seems like I am on a bit of a time limit here. So I know like, the camera angle also seems a little weird. Also, you can sprint backwards in this game. Had no idea. Seems like... Now, place Narkthar up on my hand. Alright, where are... Which hand? <laughs> Did I just die because... I thought I was safe. <laughs> Because of the, um, he was stuck in there. I thought maybe there was like a barrier erected because there was like a cutscene or a sequence, I guess. All right, so what I do is I'm only gonna do one eye on each of like the doorways. Now I'll run around and do all the doorways in one swoop. Try and mitigate how many of those things I have to fight. Ooh, yeah. Sensitivity is a little, little bonkers. See, I think when that sequence starts, I have to make sure I stop and fight any of these guys that are left over so I'll get killed during the sequence. Did I miss any eyes? Oh, this guy. Alright. 
We'll try this again. As the universe itself unfolds before your very eyes, the Watcher, the great keeper of wands and dimensions. So that is Azatoth, or is it Ab Abazoth? Abit? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Azatoth. Also known as the blind, old blind god, or dumb blind god. Hey, yeah, I was right. So to my understanding, uh, the entire universe is created from Azathoth's dream. He's also Cthulhu's like great 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 grandfather, great 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 grandfather. I don't know some. He's related to Cthulhu in some way. Uh, he is an outer god, where Cthulhu is a great old one. Now the outer gods are the most powerful creatures in the Cthulhu mythos. This is a really cool sequence, and. Um, they operate on like a cosmic level. This guy, I believe Azathoth is the most powerful of the Cthulhu Mythos deities. He's beautiful, a perfect boy, that's what we ask for. We should name him Andrew. Great entity, accept this boy under your consent. Accept the suffering, grant us an entry to the realm. So my parents offered me up as a uh, sacrifice. Is that what this is all about? Dad? Mom? I'm lost! <gasps> There's a monster here! And also, if anyone, uh... I'm trying to pull a lot of this mythos stuff from memory, uh, so if I'm wrong on any of it, uh, feel free to call me out and let me know, <laughs> because there's a lot going on in the mythos, and it's hard to keep it all straight. That she is. You know, I was thinking of getting out of the fishing business. I can't imagine leaving you for months while you have to raise our child alone. But what if something happens? We'll see about a job in town next week. Breathe. Breathe. Stay with me. Let's see gold one in here. Daddy, can we take Garden with us? Come on, Ellie. You know we can't have a dog on a fishing trip. She'll be okay here. Come on, get your stuff in the boat, Ellie. Oh, 
I miss something? Wait, did I? Okay. Well, while I'm looking for what I'm supposed to do next, uh, Nyara Lethotep is also an outer god. Cthulhu is a great old one. I believe Dagon is also a great old one. I don't think that I missed anything. What am I supposed to do here? I'm gonna have to hit this thing first, because I tried to do the third one. Here we go. Dad, over here. Ellie, is that you? Ellie, stay right there, I'm coming. She's not your daughter. She was never real. What? What do you mean? She was never real? Since the beginning, I felt that the only way to enjoy this boring reality was to change it. But I was in need of someone. Someone with purpose. You see, all the people I brought to the island had no purpose. No meaning. But you, Andrew. You are my favorite. I made those memories for you. I created a daughter that you never had. I was always there for you. No. No. It's not possible. Stop lying to me. I did what you asked for. I'm getting her back. Perhaps there is still a way to make her real if you manage to reach her. Your strong will can influence Azathoth's tree. Uh, what is it true to me? Not sure why I turned into a uh, Terminator at the end there. Well, there's the shore. I don't know. I don't think I understand the ending. Because we woke Cthulhu, which means the world is going to end. We also freed Dagon. The fish people played a very minor role. We what, ran from one of them, and we saw another one. We went down into the uh, ocean. A lot of Shoggoths in the game, which is makes sense. The Shoggoths, I think, were created by the Outer Gods to work, be uh, servants, and they rebelled. But instead of the Outer Gods putting them down, they needed them for... Uh, labor, so they kept them around, but they still serve the outer gods, I think. Some of these people's names, some of these backers here, like Yig, that's another deity in the Cthulhu mythos. Yeah, so that was an interesting game. Uh, it was definitely not what I was expecting. A lot of the references were a little on the nose. I think I explained to the comments on one of the videos that you should treat this game more as like an easter egg hunt and a just a, a jumble of references it's not really like a a typical cthulhu game uh, i still stand by dark corners of the earth that those first couple of levels being like the peak cthulhu experience uh, i mean i enjoy the game at like a plus soundtrack a plus atmosphere uh, some of the environments especially that last sequence there that was really really cool and all the sequences where we're in space. Top notch. Uh, controls are a little wonky. I do think 
It's an extremely short game. Uh, the price point they're asking... I don't agree with it. I think it's like $25 brand new. I would wait for a sale, because it was, what, three hours long or something? Uh, then obviously my save file being deleted from a patch, not a huge fan of that. But that's not the game's fault, so... I don't know, it was a... It was a weird experience. I'm glad I played it. Uh, again, some of the parts were really strong, some of the parts not so much. I don't know what to say about it. I wasn't expecting to finish the game, so I wasn't prepared uh, to form an opinion. It has some strengths and it has some weaknesses. I, I'd have a hard time recommending this to anybody, unless you're a really, really big Cthulhu Mythos fan. But I guess I guess that's it for the game. Um, <laughs> so. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play. <laughs>